What to know if you go into a timeshare sales pitch? This video is about what to know and what to think of when you go into a timeshare sales pitch or if you're dragged into a timeshare sales pitch. There's a lot of these offers out there. I just did a little bit of investigative journalism by being actually um, taken to one of those sales presentations and I wanted to share my experience with this video with you. Hi, my name is Julia M. Spencer. I'm a real estate advisor, full-time investor, and your number one source for real estate advice online. I sell audiobooks online. You can purchase them at my website at juliamspencer.com. I have this YouTube channel where you probably found this video, but I also have a bunch of other places where I am present in social media and Facebook. You can um, check out my Twitter account and you can also go into SoundCloud and iTunes and other places where, I, where some of my materials are available, where I distribute my knowledge and information about things that I find out about real estate and share with you. Now this particular video is about timeshare sales pitches. You've probably been to one, maybe you even own a timeshare that you maybe want to get rid of. Or maybe you are a happy customer of owning timeshare or timeshares. And I wanted to share a little bit my experience with this particular video because I'm actually here at a sort of resort here in Orlando, Florida, one of the busiest vacation areas in the United States. And um, I'm here with my kids and we decided to take a really quick vacation to kind of just see some of the theme parks. And I didn't want to spend a lot of money, so I went online and I found one of these really super awesome cheap deals where you can stay in a resorty type place like this for about $99 for three nights, plus any kind of taxes and resort fees. So you're looking at about an extra $30 or so a night. Um, so maybe like $200 for three nights, which isn't actually all that cheap, but um, it's, it's reasonable. And I wanted to come and just check this out, but I, but as part of my deal that I got is I had to listen to this 120-minute sales presentations on them trying to sell me an actual timeshare. Now I've made videos before about another place that I went to in Myrtle Beach. Um, you can search for that online also. And it has a lot of hits. It seems like there was a lot of interest about these kinds of videos, so I made a couple more like this one. So here's how this particular timeshare sales pitch deal kind of goes or how that's even from front to end how that even looks like so you basically if you're looking for any kind of vacation in any of the vacation hot spots let's say Orlando Las Vegas maybe you're looking to go to Hawaii you do a search online and sometimes you find these incredible deals for three nights for a hundred dollars or even cheaper sometimes um, you get all kinds of additions to that. You get free theme park tickets. You get bonus points at the at the hotel or any kind of um, retail credit or anything like that. It almost seems to be too good to be true. So you you're probably wondering why are they giving all this stuff away? And I'm going to tell you why because I think that timeshares are in general just not that great of an idea. And of course, this is my opinion, and I invite you to do your own comments and leave comments on this video right here below or you can send me an email message i, I want to encourage discussion and see what you have found how timeshares were good for you or not good for you but let me just go briefly about how these actually go down and it might be a good deal for you or just going to a presentation might be a good deal for you because you can get a, a cheap vacation out of it but basically the marketing companies are offering these awesome deals to save for cheap at these hotels if you qualify within the range of somebody who would purchase a timeshare. Um, for this particular company, and I'm not going to mention any names, but this particular company, their target market are the young families that are very much on a budget and try to be thrifty, don't have much money to spend on vacations, and um, they have to be a certain demographic. Um, you also can't show up on these um, sales presentations without your partner or husband or fiance. Um, of course, in my case, I don't have anybody like that, so they let me in. But if I had somebody like that, I would automatically be disqualified. 
and um, they're spending a lot of money on recruiting these people from all over the world to come and listen to these sales presentations because they're very much betting on you to buy a timeshare because they're so easy to buy they're really cheap they make it really easy to finance them and they also give you more and more better deals as the presentation goes on now if you're steadfast and you're not interested go to the presentation and just learn how they go about doing the sales pitch now the other video that i've made was in the more of a luxury place which was actually more to my liking this place is very much a budget type place it's on the lower scale of comfort level that I'm familiar with and comfortable with but I wanted to check it out and just give it a try so what they will do they set up a 120 minute two hour appointment with you and they basically sit you down with one salesperson and that that salesperson's job it is for two hours to pound down on you why you should have a timeshare why is this the ideal thing for you um, why you can't walk away and say no and they will most definitely make you feel bad for saying no now as I sat on this presentation this morning I said no I said no repeatedly and I asked some very good questions that the salespeople did not answer for me and I'm going to share with you in this video and in the follow-on video for this one exactly what I said and what I think you should say as well so um, the way they sell you is they basically ask you first off how often you go on vacation and how many days you go each time and how much you spend per night they're assuming of course that you're going on vacations at hotels and resorts now we have a big sharing industry Airbnb vacation methods by owner they also do not take into account that a lot of people travel to visit family or friends and that's kind of part of the reason why people travel as well and they stay at those places for free or maybe even very cheap so um, so that's their first kind of lure in. They basically will calculate, okay, if you, if you have three vacations a year, let's say you take five vacations a year, on each vacation you spend $1,000, guess what? You now are a candidate for buying a $5,000 timeshare. And it makes logical sense, but like I said, they didn't account for so many other things that play into account when people actually do go on vacation that aren't accounted for. And so basically, you know, that's one of their pitches. Um, this particular timeshare presentation that I went to, it's the second one I went to, the person that I was speaking to was probably the most greasiest person that I've ever met. Um, I've tried to be very cordial and very nice, um, but just in general, the sales staff was, was just people that otherwise probably couldn't get another job. And, and bless their hearts, I'm from Georgia, I can say that. There, um, it was just not a very quality presentation and a very bad quality place. It was like in a breakfast area of a hotel, and um, you know I gave them my full two hours. I actually timed it, and um, and they basically just started pounding down on me. They, the way the sales pitch goes, they'll tell you this is what you can afford. Um, then they'll take you to their model units, which the model units are, uh, of course beautifully decorated and nicely done and then they will basically say that hey this is the kind of place that you'd be staying at and then they'll come back and if you still say no they'll say, send you um, increasing levels of management towards your table to keep offering you better and better deals up until the end and you have to and basically if you say no each time they'll make you better office better office until the end well they just they kind of sell the price down. They'll try to sell you the largest package first, the actual timeshare. Then they will sell you a, a point system vacation package, which is a subscription to any hotel that you choose. And if you don't want that, they'll give you a sample to the subscription. So you basically can pay $1,000 and get a one-week vacation wherever you want. And, of course, if you pay cash for any of this and don't finance, they'll give you some sort of bonus but they'll basically it'll just pound on you and every time you say no they're gonna try and make you feel bad they're gonna say you know why don't you want it it's ideal for you why don't you want it and they'll keep showing you all this stuff now, if you're a steadfast person like me and you have no problem saying no to somebody in their face over and over again then guess what you just earned yourself three nights in a nice resort like this 
and they didn't make a sale and you have a vacation, you know, if this is a place where you actually want to be. This place right here is a, you know, a little questionable. But, you know, it's a, it's a decent place and it's, you know, for family oriented very much and um, it's, uh, you know, it's, bu it's on a budget type place. This place where I'm staying is really close to a highway, so it is very noisy. Um, the hotel is, is a little more than a motel room and the people that are guests here are uh, of questionable standing at times, I'm not so sure. But so far everybody's been nice, staff and people. You know, a lot of things here don't work in this hotel. You know, I mean, what do you, you basically pay what, what, you get what you pay for with a place like this. And essentially I've been staying here for free. And um, if, you, if you can bear the two hour sales presentation, then by all means do it. Now what I would recommend that if you are coming to a place to actually see something, right here in Orlando theme parks, of course, Disney World, um, try to set up your sales presentations early, early in the morning. First off, um, that means it's out of the way quicker and you got all day to do other stuff. And also the salespeople, um, uh, they're, they're nicer to you. I think if it's like more like four or five in the afternoon, um, they're starting to get pretty cranky if they haven't made their quota yet. So, um, and keep it cordial. Um, I would recommend to, to treat people nice, as nice as you would want to be treated. Ask them questions. And, um, and yeah, and that's what it's all about. It's simple and easy as that. You know, if the, if the um, vacation package is good, too good to be true, you probably have to attend one of these timeshare sales pitches. And, um, but yeah, go ahead and do it if you want a cheap vacation for you and your family. And, um, and you can deal with the two hour presentation, go for it. Now I'm gonna make a few other um, videos on this topic because there's some specific things that I wanted to mention. So um, just search for Julia M. Spencer and um, Timeshare or Timeshare um, videos, Julia M. Spencer. You can also go to my website, it's juliamspencer.com. There you can download a number of my audiobooks right now, subscribe to my newsletter, and download your free guide to real estate investing. And I'll continue and um, look forward to bring you more information from the real world of real estate investing and how it's related to your life and how I can help you. For your free guide to real estate investing, visit juliamspencer.com.